fall in love in the streets Hide your heart, gotta keep it from me Thief, know you got some premonitions Know you know I'm on a mission but Listen to you, baby, listen Let me transform you, let me transform you Let me transform you Let me turn off my air conditioning so y'all can hear me. Okay, it finally went off. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Larisha Andrea, and I'm finally back with the color hair tutorials. Um, I just feel like with color hair tutorials, I just feel like myself. I just feel like that's when... Do I have looks like my teeth? That's when Loraja's true colors come out. I just feel like I just feel like me with color hair tutorials. I just feel like me with color hair in general. I just feel like myself. So I'm definitely gonna give it, be giving you guys more hair color tutorials. And I just love doing hair. I don't know. It's just like coloring to me. It's like drawing to me. Like I'm an artist. If you guys did not know, if you guys are new to my channel, actually welcome. I'm Loraja Andrea. I am all about quick weaves, hair coloring, wigs natural hair real hair whatever has it i love doing it all and if you guys are returning thank you for being so loyal you guys are absolutely amazing and i freaking adore my fairies so i actually decided to do this hair color because i know in my rainbow wig i believe it was my rainbow wig video um a lot of people were actually requesting me to do specific um hair colors that they've seen on celebrities or socialites or instagram famous girls or whatever you consider these people um a lot of people were requesting me to do a dream doll inspired wig and so i researched her instagram you guys don't know who that is she's an artist in new york she's signed to Excuse me, if you guys don't know who that is, she is on Love & Hip Hop and she is also a um, artist signed with Gwen Entertainment. If you guys literally don't know what that is, then it's really irrelevant. All you have to do is just go to her Instagram and you will see exactly why people wanted me to do her hair coloring. She is always wearing colored wigs. Her hairstylist is actually Eric Arrogant Tay. Arrogant Tay, I believe that's what his name is. And he is the hairstylist to Tiana Taylor, Keisha Kior, and a couple other um, famous people out there. And I absolutely adore him and I adore his work. And um, if you guys want to see how I created this wig, then definitely stay tuned for the rest of the video because you do not want to miss this. Okay. <laughs> All right, fairies, let's jump right into this video. So we're gonna be using the Wella Charm New Color Tangle Dyes. I really highly recommend this for anyone that is trying to do any type of root work on their 613 frontal because it does not um, stain the lace at all and it also is just a really good base for any type of blonde hair. Um, I know before my channel I used this 7B but this time I'm using the 7N because it's more of a neutral tone and I don't want any warmth in the closure at all. I'm just going to be mixing that in with the 20 developer from the same Well of Charm line and we're just going to be mixing that all together. Definitely don't have to use too much because we're only doing the roots of this. We're not doing um, anything further. So I'm just going to be parting out the hair and then just using my applicator just to do the smallest amount onto the roots. You don't want to use too much. And I will also show you guys how I blend it in at the end using my little brush that I got from the beauty supply store. I know before they only sold it on Amazon, but I think because of the popularity of the product, um, it now is sold in the beauty supply store, at least where I um, went to so just watch and learn guys
So here is the brush that I was telling you guys about in the beginning. This is what I got from the Beauty Supply Store and Inspired Red Kiss. And I'm just going to be putting a little bit more of the um, dye onto the roots, just making sure that I'm parting in, going through a second time, making sure that everything is blended in and I have no blonde spots or anything. And then once I have everything good in little small sections, we're gonna take that little brush and then brush the dye through the hair. You don't want a harsh line of demarcation and that's a huge no-no when it comes to 613 hair and frontals and just doing root work in general. You want it to be a nice gradient look to it. You want no lines of harshness, okay? So we're gonna be going on to dyeing the hair now. This time I'm gonna be using all Ion Color Brilliance. You guys know I love me some Adore dye, but they do not, I'm not a fan of their pastel colors. I'm just not really a fan and I haven't figured out how to dilute that product yet because it is a liquid texture. And this is more of a cream texture and I think that it's a little bit easier for me to dilute products like this than it is liquid. Until I figured out how to dilute liquid dyes, I will be sticking to my cream dyes that I am more familiar with and diluting so I'm going to be taking the mint color and you guys can see that it looks literally blue that is one thing that I want to point out when it comes to using the ion mint color you are going to have to mix in their shamrock green color in order to get that true green mint look and I use the whole tube um, to four tubes of the mint color so basically if you're only using one tube of the mint you want to use one fourth of the shamrock green if you're using two bottles use half of the shamrock and you guys kind of can get the you know metrics to that um so now i'm moving on to the blue color which is the azure from the ion color brands bright line and i'm also going to be mixing in the cyan color from the um, ion color as well the azure is more of like a baby blue and the cyan is more of like a deep blue so i know many times with sky blue colors I don't know what it is about the blue pigment, but you always have to mix something a little bit darker so that when you put the sky blue color onto the 613 hair, it shows a lot more. I don't really know where I'm getting all this knowledge from. I guess this is what happens when you dye hair so much. You just pretty much know when it comes to color theory and using certain colors and just how the dyes um, are more pigmented, less pigmented and all that. So I think it's just kind of what happens when you've been dying for so long. So you kind of know what to do, what to mix with and all that stuff so here it's nothing really special I'm just mixing up the lavender and I'm also putting in the rose I ended up using um, three tubes of the lavender and two tubes of the rose but you can definitely only use one tube of the rose because I didn't even use that much of the pink but I would definitely recommend that you use five of the mint and four of the blue because we used a lot of that color and also three of the lavender because we use a lot of the lavender as well the only thing that was like excess over was the rose so now I'm moving on to putting the dye onto the hair one tip that I want to give you guys is always 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 pre-wash your 613 hair before you put the dye on that is my huge secret to not letting the dye rinse out or bleed when it comes to rinsing out the hair you guys always question me and ask me how the heck do you not get your door dye or ion dye or whatever dye not to bleed i always shampoo the hair first you can use a clarifying shampoo you can use a sulfate um sulfate free shampoo i personally like to use sulfate free because i don't like to strip my hair um even if it's my hair fake hair extensions whatever has it i always like to use sulfate free so just take any sulfate free shampoo wash your your hair first let it air dry and then go ahead to put the dye over top only because a lot of times um, fake hair can have a type of coating onto it and you never even notice it but the coating will basically make it so that the dye is not sticking to anything but that coating so when you rinse it out it basically is rinsing out everything from the hair that is just a stylist tip to you guys that always ask these questions so right here is nothing special I'm just putting on the dye onto the hair i'm putting on the mint color then the blue then the lavender then the pink and i did the same gradient technique throughout the whole entire head nothing split dye nothing creative <laughs> or anything like that no no different colors on different sides you kept it pretty simple slightly <laughs> with this hair color so you guys can just watch and see and i'm just going to shut up you guys just watch to see how i put this dye on
So we have moved on to rinsing out the dye. And you guys know I always show you guys if the dye bleeds or not. And this is what I mean by the dye is not bleeding at all all when it comes to rinsing out this hair so um you guys can pretty much see like suds and stuff in the um in the sink i didn't shampoo it or anything that was just coming from the actual dye because i believe that dye does have some type of shining or clear coating to it just so that the hair can be nice and shiny when you rinse it out so i think that's what that um those sets were but i just put on some conditioner onto the hair i will link that down below i don't know why i didn't show it in the video but i will link every single product that i use down below everything you can get from sally beauty um no i'm not sponsored in this video but I am sponsored by Sally Beauty in the future videos. Thank you, Jesus, because your girl pockets was hurting. <laughs> so definitely stay tuned for those videos. Thank God, because I needed that Sally's. So we are now moving on to blow drying hair. You guys know I love coming to you with 90% of the wigs almost dry just so that I can show you guys what the hair is looking like when I go ahead and blow dry it on camera. So that's all I'm doing right here and I'll also be showing you guys slightly in the end of me blow drying just how the hair looks. You guys can still see that flow. The silkiness is still there. This is very, very, very nice 613 hair. You guys always, I, you guys just know, I always tell you all the time. It's so hard to find good 613 hair. Everybody has blonde hair practically, but not everyone has good blonde hair. And this is good blonde hair. So I just went ahead with my Chi Silk Infusion Serum. And I just put that all throughout the hair because we are going to be using a hot tool. This is a barrel um, waver from Ion as well. And I'm, I decided to wave this hair. I didn't want to leave it straight and I didn't want to curl it because I feel like I always curl hair and it's kind of boring. So I decided to do a waver. So you guys can see I burnt this hair. I burnt the hair by accident, of course, but I didn't know that I put the curler way too hot it is on 450 i actually ended up turning it down to 410 uh, 410 degrees and i only let it sit for seven seconds and before i let it sit for 10 so turn it all the way down turn it down a notch <laughs> 410 and only have it on for seven seconds because you do not want to burn the hair like how i did so right here i'm just showing you guys all the little crimping and waving action nothing too special and i will be back with the finished results.
So we are completely done. This hair is just giving me absolute mermaid, unicorn, pastel Easter vibes. I literally love it. I think it's so cute. I think it was a especially good idea to do the waves instead of curling it because I just think the waves just a different touch. And I also think it just adds to the mermaid-esque kind of feel that we are getting with this eyeshadow, this hair color, this everything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this just as much as I do. And I hope to see you in my next videos because I am not playing when it comes to these hair videos now. <laughs> I love you guys as always and deuces.